Hello everyone and welcome to the Q&A video. <laughs> None of this is scripted, so I'm kind of going off the top of my head. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's move on to the first question. And our first question comes from Cam Does Dubs 1536. Do you have a favorite sitcom? Hmm, mostly like adult animation stuff. South Park, Family Guy, American Dad, Episode Family, Futurama. It's stuff I watch pretty much on a regular day basis. But if we're going for like live action sitcoms, definitely like Full House or Family Matters, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Anything I grew up really watching, even I'll watch it anytime, even if I've seen every episode. I just think they're great. Question number two. I'm trying to listen to more albums all the way through. Are there any particular ones that you recommend? Um, when it comes to albums, like one that's definitely I've always listened to for most of my life is Sound of Madness from Shinedown. It's a pretty great album if you haven't heard it. Um, Phil Collins' Greatest Hits is always another good one. I think it's just every song on that album is just great. It's a banger. And then if you haven't listened to Epic, the musical saga, I think it is, you should definitely go listen to that one. It's really good. Like It's pretty much all I listen to in my free time. Besides the Has Been Hotel album, too. I mean, it's, it's all such good stuff. <laughs> Question number three. What are some movie moments that made you emotional? Definitely, you know, the ending of All Dogs Go to Heaven. It's such a sad moment. And then Littlefoot losing his mom or, you know, Simba losing his dad. They're all such sad moments that make anyone emotional. But one that makes me emotional, I just think it's really sad every time, is when in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, when they're leaving the island and you see the Brachiosaur come running and it's trying to escape too, but then it perishes in the volcano ash and everything. It's just sad because you're like, you know, it's like saying goodbye to your childhood because you know, that's the first dinosaur you see in Jurassic Park that they actually get to see there and see. And it's the last one you see when they leave the island. And it's just just gets me every time and <laughs> I don't know if it gets anyone else though. Question number four, any advice for rookie VAs looking to get into dubbing? Yeah. Um, just have fun when you get into it. Don't try to pressure yourself and like make content like two or three videos a week for every year. Cause then you're just going to wear yourself out. You're not wanting, you're not, you're just not going to do it anymore. Um, besides that, you know, just have fun. Like it's a hobby at the start. Unless you get into like paying gigs and great for you, you're doing something awesome. Um, besides that, you know, be friendly, be kind, make a network for people that you want to work with. That's not really all the advice I have. That's something I wish I could have told myself when I started. And now I have a great connection of people who also do dubbing and voice work. That's it's great to have them. Our next set of questions comes from the lovely demon fox Akira, and she says. Hey, Caleb, happy B-Day. So I got for you. Number one, what medium do you like to VA the most? Animation, games, commercial, comic dubs? I like, I definitely like, you know, doing dub scenes of, from like animation and games. I never try to do one for a commercial. Hmm, that'd be something fun to do. Uh, for comic dubs, it's definitely, I definitely love doing the comic dub ones. Because it's definitely fun because you can put your own twist on the comic or you can put your own new voice spin on it. Like I know some people hear certain characters for what they are, but then some people don't. And I think it's really cool with being freely creative with comic dubs, especially if you do the comic dub and you get to bring it, show it in a different light for anybody, for someone else to see a comic dub and for them to get more popularity too. Question number two. If you were to go full-time as a VA, who would you want to work with? Oh, there's so many great voice actors I would love to work with. Like in animation, definitely Rob Paulson, Jim Cummings, or the great Tim Curry. But in video game wise, definitely like Steve Bloom, Patrick Seitz, or Sam Witwer for their iconic roles from Scorpion, Sub Zero to Deacon St. John and Darth Maul. They're all so great, and it would be amazing to work with one of them. And just because Patrick Seitz voices one of my favorite video game characters of all time, Scorpion. Get over here! And our next batch of questions comes from the lovely Crimson Shadow VA. Question number one. You rarely do gender bent dubs, unless it's a parody. 
Do you have any plans to do a serious gender bent dubs? What female characters do you think your voice would fit for a gender swap version of them? See, I don't know. <laughs> I never really given it any thought. I know I've tried uh, Maleficent, the live action one, and I've done Nala from The Lion King. And then at one point, I do remember like doing auditions for a gender swapped Lion King. And I was like, this would be kind of cool. So I remember I went for Nala, Shinzi, and Sarabi. But nothing ever came from that. But I don't really, I don't really have any in mind. I don't know who would fit me. If you want to give a recommendation, I'll definitely give it a try. Um, but right now, I don't have any versions that I think would fit. But I'm definitely open to suggestions. Question number two: If you were stranded on a deserted island, what would be three possessions you need to have with you? Now it depends. If it's a deserted island for survival, definitely a knife <laughs> and the knowledge of gathering food and water and a compass just so I know which way I'm going. Now, if it's a deserted island for relaxation to get away from society, I definitely want to keep like books so I can finally catch up with like reading and everything. Definitely a way to listen to music, podcasts and audiobooks if I have to. And just, you know, a nice sun hat and some glasses so the sun can stay out of my eyes. <laughs> Question number three. If you had all the time in the world to edit slash record, what would be your dream full fan dub project to make? Um, I've already done a bunch of my dream full fan dubs. Like, Balto and All Dogs would be like my two biggest ones. And then Atlantis and Jurassic Park was also some great ones. I did definitely love doing oliver and company that was definitely a great one by amy and i i absolutely love playing dodger it was such a fun one but if i had the chance to make another big project along that lines would definitely be the graphic the graphic novels for like animorphs or wings of fire or the new goosebumps ones that are coming out i think they're just great and i think it'd be something really fun to work on question number four as someone with many fictional character crushes, who are your top three fictional character crushes? Who? Top three fictional crushes. Um, In no order specific, Lola Bunny. No, that one's a joke. Please don't take that serious. Um, Elisa Mazza from Gargoyles. Uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And Avatar Korra from The Legend of Korra. I think they're all super pretty characters. They got great spirits. They're headstrong and not scared to say what's on their mind. So that's definitely my top three. I would say that. And our next set of questions comes from Time Ranger VH20. And question number one is, out of all the full dubs we have done, which one do you think was your best performance? I would definitely say Dodger from Oliver and Company. I definitely loved that performance. I loved hearing it back. Um, not to say it's better than any of the other ones. I think that was just like one of my best performances. Um, you know, of course, playing Beast will always be a special place in my heart, too, because it's where I actually got to come back and restart dubbing and fell in love with it again. Plus all the other characters like Kovu, Respu, and all the side characters, too. I just loved helping out in all of them, like seeing everyone's dreams come alive. But best performance, definitely, I would say Dodger. Or, or, or I would say my boy, you know, Ray the Firefly, because that was a lot of fun doing that right there. And how could I forget old Ray? I think Ray and Dodge would probably be the best performances. I love both of them, and they're such fun characters to play. Question number two. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go, and what food would you like to try? If I could go anywhere on Earth, it'd be to the land down under Australia. I heard it's beautiful. And I just think it'd be really cool to see. Um, Food-wise, I would definitely like to try a lot more seafood because I think I love seafood. I'm a big seafood person. But I think I would like to try a lot more different dishes than the popular recommended ones like you get when you go to like the coast or to like a beach. Just a more deep dive into that. Question number three. Out of all the amusement parks that you have been to, which one would you like to go back to? Um, definitely, you know, Disney World. It's always fun going back to Disney World. I like, I've been to Six Flags, and I've been to like Carowinds. It's, I love them all, but Disney World is just a whole different experience. 
definitely would love to, you know, have a trip there, especially one day with a bunch of Discord friends and have a fun time. Our next set of questions comes from Biru VO. Question number one. What dub was the most fun for you to edit, both the audio and the video? Uh, that would definitely be Jurassic Park. That was really fun to take on a live action full dub, especially with sound mixing and design and everything, and then finding the right characters. And it's just, it was such a great movie. And I love doing it. Um, another small one I love, and I will always remember doing it, was the the little parody video for the Power Rangers, like where they all morph and putting all the sounds in, like all the like when they're moving because I never really truly realized how much sounds they make when they move around. White Tiger. That was definitely one. Um, definitely one. Sit another down. one that stands out and I love it is the Shut Eye comic dub. I'm thankful for everyone that worked on it because it turned out so great and it's like one of the most popular videos I've done. Um, and it just came out really good. Those are like definitely the top three that jump off the top of my head. That was fun to edit with the uh, sound effects and audio and video and everything question number two what voice actors do you idolize the most can be from any movie show and or video game uh i think i answered this one earlier um definitely you know rob paulson tim curry jim cummings sam witwer patrick seitz steve bloom just iconic performances i love a bunch of their characters growing up and I can't really think of any others off the top of my head at the moment. <laughs> Question number three. What is a couple of your favorite memories that you experienced in your 20s? Can be in real life or online. Um, <laughs> a bunch of my favorite memories would be actually would, uh, actually joining the fandom community was actually really fun. Like actually getting into a Discord call for the first time and talking to everyone which I think the first time I ever joined a Discord call, and I was so nervous because I never talked to anyone besides comment sections, was the Beauty and the Beast, I think the rehearsal one. I think that was why I jumped in after because I was really nervous to join before. And then just meeting a bunch of people, like I've watched their works before. Um, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite memories is joining a discord call not just or, or in like one of the group chats and shadow joined for the first time and she's like oh my god you have a southern accent i was like could could you never tell she's like no i was like oh no <laughs> everyone knows now um just meeting everyone and you know having some of the best friends i could ever ask for in the discord community um in real life moments uh in my 20s i learned a lot um, definitely love hurt and pain. Yeah. I've had a bunch of bad breakups in my twenties, but it also helps with the person I am today and learn to be how resilient towards stuff like that. Um, besides that, um, there's a bunch that just happened in my twenties. I, I did service. I left service when I was 23 I remember celebrating my 21st birthday in South Korea, which was a lot of fun. And just the base, your 20s basically is just an experience of life. Get out there, try everything, and enjoy it. That's because that's what I do with mine, and I loved every moment of it. Just plus all the like stuff that happens in Discord stuff was fun too. I know a lot of people talk about it and hate it, but it was fun to go through and hang out with everybody, even through all the good and bad times. That's a video for another day. <laughs> Question number four. Who do you wish to blame on your birthday? I want to blame everyone. You, Biru. You, Amy. You, Tom. You, Shadow. And especially you, Greg. Because that's the bottom line! Because Kayla VA says so! <laughs> I blame everyone! Especially you, Will. Our next set of questions comes from Chris VA 2001. Number one Crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Unless you don't like peanut butter and or are allergic. 
Um, definitely creamy peanut butter. Whoever eats crunchy is a psychopath. I don't, I haven't met anyone who likes crunchy peanut butter. If you do, I'm sorry. I've just never met you. I'm sorry. Question number two, Disney or DreamWorks? Chris, don't make me pick. I love both of them. But the moment I'm going to say DreamWorks because I have yet to hear of a bad DreamWorks movie. And they have so many good ones like How to Train Your Dragon, Spirit, Madagascar, Over the Hedge, Shrek, Shark Tale. I know a lot of people hate Shark Tale, but I think it's okay. It's not the worst, but it's fun. Um, <laughs> Disney's got a lot of good ones too, but at the moment I'm going to say DreamWorks. Question number three, would you rather eat pineapple pizza or candy corn pizza? Oh my God, pineapple pizza every day. There's a funny story to that. We went to Papa John's one time and I ordered a barbecue chicken pizza and somehow the order got messed up and they put pineapple on it. So I've had pineapple barbecue chicken pizza and I thought it was actually really good and I would absolutely hate candy corn being on my pizza. Our next batch of questions comes from the lovely Haley Radiant. Question number one. How much have you traveled within or outside of the States? Where was your favorite place to travel, if so? Definitely one of my favorite places I've ever traveled was South Korea. Because it's great culture, great food, and great people. Love them all. Everyone I met over there, the great people, and a lot of fun times and experiences. Um... Besides that, I've been to the Bahamas on a couple cruise lines and to Mexico. But definitely South Korea, it was just completely different and it was a lot of fun. Question number two. Any comic dubs you want to make in the future that aren't already in development? Um, like I said earlier, the Animorphs graphic novels and the Wings of Fire graphic novels would definitely be a dream one to do. And anything else, especially the Goosebumps graphic novels, that'd be a fun one to do for Halloween. But Wings of Fire and Animorphs, definitely. But it would just be a very time-consuming project with cutting all the pages, finding voices, and actually having something scheduled that I have to make comics to work on right now. <laughs> Question number three. Favorite superhero? Definitely Batman. Grew up watching Batman. I loved all the Batman animated shows, movies. Like, great. Kevin Conroy as Batman was like, my favorite Batman of all time. And it was great because I actually got to see him at one of the Comic Cons. But sadly, after that year, he did pass away. I was very sad. But definitely Batman. If I have to pick a second one ever, it'd be Spider Man just for Marvel because I grew up with Spider Man too. But definitely Batman overall. Question number four If you could be an ice cream flavor, what would you be? Definitely chocolate because I love chocolate. I think chocolate ice cream is the best. That's the only flavor I would want to be. I'm not a fan of the others. Our next set of questions comes from the lovely audio Amy. Most quoted movie. Oh, I have no idea on that one. I would like to think I quote a bunch of all dogs go to heaven or something from Jurassic Park. Hold on to your butts <laughs> or something like that. But I have no idea what I quote the most of. Probably something from Lion King too. Anything like that's anything that I grew up with, I quote, and it's just stuck in my head. <laughs> Favorite fast food chain? Uh, definitely Taco Bell. I think it's great. Value menu is amazing. Lunch, dinner, it's great choices. I haven't had the breakfast yet, so don't know about that one yet. But Taco Bell is definitely at the top. Question number three Can you feel it calling in the air tonight? Have you been waiting for this moment all your life? Ah. <laughs> but seriously, favorite Phil Collins song? Oh, In the Air Tonight's definitely one of them. Um, I love especially the Phil Collins songs from Tarzan and Brother Bear. It's ones I grew up with. Uh... He's got a he's got a bunch of really good ones. Like definitely go listen if you haven't yet. Go listen to his greatest hits. They're all great, great songs, and I could imagine not having heard any of them. Uh, number one, definitely, I'm on my way is probably like one of my favorites, just because it's a great song and it's always stuck in my head. 
That or from Tarzan. Oh, no, 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 no. Son of Man from Tarzan is an amazing song. And it does not deserve to be that great. And if you don't think it's Son of Man, you're wrong. <laughs> but no, definitely. Uh, Son of Man would probably be my favorite one. Our next set of questions comes from DT Channel Studio 93. Question number one. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, Dan, that, that's such a hard question. Um, because there's some... One show I did watch a bunch, especially on VHS tapes, was like the rendition of Nickelodeon's Animals growing up. I thought it was such a good show. And then once I actually read the books and, you know, understood it more, I thought it was horrible. <laughs> Definitely hope it gets another rendition of it at some point. Um, besides that, like animation wise, like, you know, the Mighty Ducks, Gargoyles. Anything from classic Cartoon Network, like Dexter's Laboratory, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Another one from like Disney is like American Dragon, Jake Long. Anything along those lines I grew up with is all my favorites. I love them all. Favorite classic movie from the past and why? We'll always love Jurassic Park. Um, another classic movie that is great i think everyone should watch one because i think it's such a great movie is definitely tremors if you've never seen it i think it's a great fun movie and at least the first one's great All, the other ones are fun but the first one's amazing and it's great just a lot of good memories of watching it with my, my cousins growing up and it's like the first monster movie i think i ever got to watch question number three do you have advice on life itself yeah uh be a good person uh, don't ever put anyone down because they have different views from you. Don't be that type of person. Um, be good to one another and make sure you have a good closed circuit of friends who are like, will be there to support you and no matter what you do. And also they tell you if you're making a dumb decision or something. <laughs> um, besides that, avoid people that are only there in the moment to support you and don't support you all the time. Avoid fake people because they're exhausting. That's just something I've lived with in my life. Um, but yeah, life itself, be a good person. Love one another. And that's it. Also, don't let anything in life ever get you down. Because no matter what, when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. Everything bad has to end at some point. Which means nothing but goodness after that. Our next lovely set of questions comes from Sir Rusty Studios 1861. Question number one. What's your favorite movie from your childhood? Um, that's a tough one, because if it was like favorite movie from my childhood, there's a bunch, like All Dogs Go to Heaven, Balto, Lion King, and Jurassic Park in the Land Before Time series. Just from my childhood growing up and seeing it, it's movies that stuck with me. And it's just movies I constantly watch. Especially a bunch of the good memories I have with some of them. Question number two. Is there a place where you dreamed of visiting one day? If so, what would it be and why? I think I've already said this one before, but it would be Australia. The land down under. Just because I heard it's very beautiful. And it'd be somewhere really cool to visit. Question number three. Got any plans for your channel and other stuff in the future? Yeah, I definitely want to finish the Disney Villains comics and move on to something else. And I definitely want to finish Stray Dogs Chapter 5. Uh, hopefully everything will be out by the end of October. That's what I'm planning on for the spooky season. Besides that, who knows, I might work on another comic rendition. Or I might just focus more on doing dubbing. Or actually focus more on like doing voice acting projects. But right now, it's definitely finishing those projects. If I was to start other ones, it'd be the Animorphs or Wings of Fire. Or the creator of Stray Dogs did another one called Feral, and that one looks very promising. But right now, that's all the plans so far. Our next lovely batch of questions comes from Sakura, Fandub7654. Question number one. Any movies you would rate from one to ten? Um, it depends. If I had to go through, like, movie series like uh, the Transformers, Jurassic Park, or any kind of the horror franchises. Uh, there's a bunch of horror franchises I would go through. I 
the Jurassic Park series, I would like to do that one. I think it'd be fun to actually give my take on it. Or at least, you know, the whole entire Transformers shows that I grew up. I love love the Transformers growing up, especially the live action ones that a lot of people don't like. But it'd be it'd be fun to rate like those from one ten. And then for like horror franchises like Halloween, Friday the thirteenth, or Scream, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Question number two, what were some of your favorite dubs to do? Um, there's too many for it just to be my favorites. I definitely love working on the comic dub ones from like the Pixie and Brutus to working on like all the ones from Pet Foolery to the Stray Dogs one, especially just having, you know, a bunch of good people to work alongside with and most of them, especially like all the full fan dubs i loved working on every one of them from so many talented people that directed the, their own projects to people who actually gave me like courage to actually sing in some of them <laughs> which not my strong suit but besides that i couldn't really point out big fair ones just mostly everything i've said so far hopefully that helps <laughs> question number three do you have a favorite childhood show growing up uh, like I said before, the early renditions of Animorphs was definitely a big part of my childhood, and I loved watching it, especially on the VHS tapes. Along with, you know, like, Extreme Dinosaurs, Mighty Ducks, Gargoyles, and like all those good shows from back in the day. Question number four, do you have any plans for your channel in the future? Um, mostly just finishing up all the comic stuff that I need to get finished up, like the Disney Villain comics and the Stray Dog comics. Are definitely in the works and getting all dogs go to heaven having that one finally finished after so long of waiting <laughs> question number five if there was a certain movie you would choose which one would it be jurassic park every day love it great movie would love to be part of the universe love to be in anything that's part of it it i know so much about the lore it's not even funny <laughs> but definitely jurassic park Question number six, what were your thoughts on the Minecraft movie trailer? I thought it was absolute garbage. I think it should be done a different way. I do not like how they're doing it. I'm not the biggest fan of Minecraft either, so don't take what I'm saying to heart. I just don't think that was the right rendition of the movie. Like Jack Black, but I just don't think it was good. I think it was a bad trailer. Our next set of questions comes from Siloed VA. And his question is, what's your favorite movie you've watched? Definitely Jurassic Park, by far. Loved it since I was a kid, still love it now. I watch it a bunch. I think it's just a great movie, especially through the times and ages. But animated-wise, like Balto, Oliver and Company, All Dogs Go to Heaven, Lion King, and Land Before Time is some that are off the top of my head. But definitely Jurassic Park is at the top of the list. I would say so. I know too much about that series and it's not even funny. Our next set of questions comes from Cross X Fade. And you left a long comment. Thank you so much. Um, your first question is, do you have specific characters or stories that really ignite your fire to voice act? Um, besides all the movies I've named before, um, a bunch of animes I watched like Dragon Ball Z, Attack on Titan, and My Hair Academia, it just inspires me to voice act every day because i just love the performances and everyone gives uh especially like the early cartoons i watched like gargoyles hearing keith david do goliath and just everything like that along those lines is what inspired me to actually try to put my foot into it and i just thought it would always be fun to do question number two not a question but just a comment i love how you explore your repertoire for different roles from heroes villains Strong and gentle, along with exploring accents and singing. Oh, thank you. I do try to explore a bunch of them. I know a bunch of them I'm not really good at. Thankfully, there's a lot of great people that push me to do some of them, especially in the singing department. But thank you. Question number three ties into the last comment. Do you have a certain character archetype or personality you feel you resonate with in particular? Um, no, I know I get casted in a bunch of projects. Or like the character with a deep voice that's kind of a loner. I think like ones that can really go off the top of my head was like Beast from Being the Beast, the full fan dub. And then Wolf from the Lunar Chronicles book series. And then like Pixie and Brutus, characters along with like the deep voice archetypes. Or um, 
I think those are the ones that I fit more along with and I'm more comfortable with. Or, you know, just characters that act silly because I think it's fun. Question number four. Do you have any curious meditation food, drink, or ritual to psych or warm you up before you perform it? No, I really don't. More of just get along the mindset and kind of memorize the scene is probably like my meditation is just watching it a bunch of times before I actually go try. Or a couple times a day before I actually attempt it. That's that's probably mine, I would say. That's the only thing I can really think of. I don't really eat or drink anything before. <laughs> Question number five. What places have you visited or would like to visit outside your residence? I have been to South Korea. I've been to the Bahamas and Mexico. Would love to go to Australia one day. I think it'd be fun. Or actually get to explore more in Alaska than stopping there for a plane ride. I think those would be my top my favorite two to go to question number six lastly any plans on branching out of your repertoire of characters especially in anime and exploring stories unfamiliar to you and you left a whole bunch of suggestions here definitely uh the shiro ogami from bna i definitely thought of doing a scene from that and i just start watching kaiju number eight so kafka would definitely be fun to do i haven't seen pacific rim and I haven't seen the My Team Romantic Comedy, Ancient, I haven't seen that one, Solo, I haven't seen Solo Leveling, Samurai Jack, I never thought of doing that one, or Aaron from Spider-Verse, I think those would be cool, um, I don't have any plans right now for branching out, it just, uh, if I'm up, I'm open to suggestions, like you left a whole bunch here. I'm definitely going to take a look into these. But for right now, I don't have any plans of branching out besides this. But thank you for the recommendations, though. I really appreciate it. Our next set of questions comes from 12 Productions Fun 23. Uh, Stray Dogs right now, I'm trying to get it out before the end of October. I know it's been a while and it needs to get finished. But hopefully that's when it will be before the end of October. And... Australia would definitely be the country I would love to visit. If it was another thing, I would love to go visit Alaska because the only other state in the United States I would love to visit. But yeah, right th that'd probably be it right there. And our lovely next batch of questions comes from Lee Aspinall, 7322. Question number one. If you could pick any anime world to live in, what would you choose? Um, Definitely... I think my hero academia would be the my the world I would want to live in because you know you get a cool superpower and you can hang out with your superpower friends, go to school for it. And if you want to be a pro time hero, you get that. Although you do have you know evil bad guys to fight, it's a lot better than like you know an Attack on Titan one where you're literally cowering in fear every day of your lives until you die or you just get eaten alive by a Titan. Yeah. Or anything else like that. <laughs> Question number two. What future movies are you excited for? Um, currently at the moment, nothing really. I can't really think of anything coming out of the future besides off the top of my head. Um, I guess probably like the next Jurassic World Park movie. I mean... I don't know too much details about it right now, but still part of the franchise. I'm going to be happy to see it. Question number three. What's your favorite color? Uh, that's a real easy one. It's black. I don't know. I just wear black a lot. And then I just think black's a really cool color. And our final question comes from Shadow of Love 9646. Out of all the characters you've dubbed for over the years, who's your all-time favorite character? I really loved dubbing Mufasa from Lion King. It was some of the first couple of videos I've done, and I loved them. Especially got me to work with a bunch of big people here in the dubbing community. And also, you know, just a bunch of great memories working on them. Especially when I was in South Korea, I started doing dubbing. Uh, the scene where Mufasa confronts Scar at the beginning of the movie is like one scene that I was, remember specifically working on with my friend. If you go watch it, you can still hear him and everything. But he's definitely one of my favorite characters I've voiced 
over the time besides all the other characters I've voiced in the full fan dubs and the projects that I've done and the small ones. But hopefully that answers your question. Thank you so much for sending it in. And thank you everyone, especially sending in all these questions. Boy, what a road it's been, especially me being 30 now and doing dubbing for over over eight years now. I haven't, I don't remember when the first one was. I'll have to come up with that one later. But yeah, thank you all so much. It means so much. And I, like I said, I just love working on all this stuff that I've mentioned. And I'm thankful for everyone here. Thank you all so much. And I'll catch you later. Bye.